The Nigeria Governors Forum and the federal government have said they have commenced a human capital development plan towards moving to 24 million Nigerians out of poverty before 2030. The NGF disclosed this in a statement by its head of media and public affairs, Mr. Abdul Razak Abelo Barakindo in Abuja. Barakindo said that the plan was jointly embarked on by the Forum of the of and the Office of the Vice President, Professor Yemio Shimbajo. He said that the process commenced on Monday in Kaduna State and culminated in Ekiti State on Thursday. According to him, the overall vision of the HCD was concentrated in three thematic areas, which are education, public health, and nutrition for the workforce. On his part, the NGF chairman and governor of Ekiti State, Dr. Kayade Fayemi, pledged that the total pledged the total commitment pledge total commitment to the vision of the HCD. And joining us in the studio, Balahon Lojede is uh, a financial analyst, and uh, he's going to help me punch some numbers. It's good to have you join us. Thank you very much. I'm thinking to myself, um, we've had all kinds of programs in the past years to try to take Nigerians out from poverty. We've, and this is by successive governments, and uh, most times these are uh, given to the office of the wife of whoever is the president at the time. But this one is new, the vice president's office in collaboration with Governor's Forum. And I'm wondering, uh, is this the dawning of a new day? No. Um, it, it's, it's not about what is said. It's about the sincerity of purpose to execute. You have to be able to put to back your words with actions. The discipline execution you remember poverty alleviation program? I ah, was about to say better life were, for rural women. Better life women. for rural women. There were there have been all sort of programs. Now, that's a good thing the governors are thinking because most of those other other programs were actually from Abuja. It was, it was, it was at the center. Now you have a situation involving the Nigerian Governors Forum. So which means 36 or 37 people are probably involved and. Uh, Subnational thinking is being put on the table with this, not just something in the kitchen of the president now. Um, is it possible? The answer is yes. It is very possible to flip the fortune of this nation in a decade. Has it ever been in, at, at any point in Nigeria's life that it would be impossible to take no. people out of poverty? Nigeria has always been a country that remained at the level of potential. The potential never move into manifestation because we never had the right set of leadership, political will, and the courage to pursue the right things. If you look at this space today, we still have that same problem. Most of the big elephants in the room, we're not even speaking about them in this country. So, which goes to say that the politicians probably do not still have the will to do the right thing. I mean, looking at the government as we speak right now, and this is government across boards, we still have the same people that, have, that were in those governments that you said did not have the courage or the willpower. Mm. So what makes it different? All the promises they've been making and this particular promise, what makes it different? What should be the thing that the average Nigerian should hold on to, to give well, them a shorty that this would be brought maybe. to pass? Maybe we can choose to measure them along the path, to ask for specifics, even though the media can help in this. You know, you have three thematic mm -hmm. uh, areas now. The workforce. Education and healthcare, public health and nutrition. Mm -hmm. Nutrition is a major issue, especially in, in some part of Nigeria where people are not properly fed and they're not developing mentally mm -hmm. the right way. So. You might say you have this number of young people, but a chunk of those young people did not develop the right way, and therefore they have mental retardation or they are not able to deliver as we want. The other part is in the public health space. One of the major problems I, I had with uh, trader money, for example, trader money could have made an impact. It is true that could there it? are yeah, there, it is true that there are businesses whose entire capital is five thousand naira. The man who sells bolly down the road, the woman rather, or the corn or the recharge card down the corridor. But you know why those programs will have challenges? The next layer of social safety, something like healthcare, is not there. So when the guy has invested 10,000 and made 12,000, a single bout of serious malaria 
can wipe out both the capital and the profit and everything overnight and is back in a hole, worse than where it started from. So that is why some of those programs might not really lift people out of poverty. But our power remains on the fact that we have a very young population. Something goes for the youth, the physical energy, the mental energy. If we can harvest these energies and deploy it the proper way, we can just flip our fortunes like that. So that's why education, healthcare are two major things that will help us deliver on that. Of course, the right of every Nigerian to ask for these people to do the necessary is in our vote. But it seems that we still keep having the same people come into power. How do we ensure, I keep asking this question, how do we ensure? Because it's not enough to hope upon hope. Mm. How do we ensure and put our foot down and say, well, you said it, we did it. You came up with the idea. How do we make sure there's a follow through? You see, um, a number of things have been happening across the world in recent times. Um, protest. Uh, I, I will not encourage anything that has violence in it, but you can make a protest without violence. And we saw an example of it right here in Nigeria before the bill that allowed younger people to participate in politics was eventually passed to law that reduced the age. People protested. They sat in the National Assembly. We got what we wanted at the end of the day, even if there are still some adult manipulation, you know, to ensure that that probably didn't work as it's supposed to work. It is something to think about. If I say I'm going to deliver this and this and this, when it is time to assess, can we go and ask them, you say you are going to do this, where exactly are you? So we, we must ask more questions as Nigerians, rather than raise up our hands in helplessness that there's nothing we can do. Because in truth, there is something that you and I can do. All right, one last question before I let you go. The nation has been on that poverty line for such a long time. In fact, last year we became the poverty capital of the world in so many cases. And there's a poverty clock where I think every 15 minutes somebody jumps into, into poverty. The, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, for example, the U.S.'s economy is not the greatest in the world, but in that economy, there's something for everyone. It caters to everyone at every level, but that's different in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. If you do not get a certain level, to a certain level, you cannot access the good things that Nigeria has to offer. So this plan that the government has, is it just going to be for those, the poorest of the poor, as they always say, or is it going to be all-encompassing? It's going to be all encompassing because um, talk about education today. The the affluent or the elite are not exactly bearing the brunt of this because they can afford certain level of comfort as far as education is concerned. But the masses are the, where we have problems. So that when we say we have 13 million Nigerians out of out of 13 million Nigerian students out of schools, they're not the children of those politicians or the other people, you know. But these are also the people we need to drive the turbines of, of, of our change, if we're going to ever have any change in this country. It may surprise you, for example, to know that Africa is seen as where you now have the fastest growing uh, uh, app, number of app developers. They're just all over the whole place. So somebody must put a structure around them. We, we, we didn't just see uh, what Zuckerberg in Sabo for nothing. So if, even things that we don't know in our own environment, there are people who are studying those things and are seeing it that we don't see it. So maybe it is time to put structure around what makes a Zuckerberg to leave America and end up on the street of Sabu in Nigeria. Okay. Uh, well, I'm on is a financial analyst. It's good to have you join us. Thank you very much. <laughs>